my guys. takes forever to do it non-lethally, and I hate that. It makes sense, but it's very, very annoying. Like, I could have been out of this fight 20 minutes ago if I wasn't being so stubborn.
Mission complete. Whew. At least you made it out in one piece. Yeah, I'm not even bothered by that. Not even a little bit. Skullface is no longer in Africa. The nuclear test was a success. Now they turned the knives on me. Satellites didn't read any test. Neither did seismometers. The detonation test took place five years ago in the southern Indian Ocean. The final test was the opposite. To prevent detonation. You mean? Skullface plans to sell nuclear weapons that he retains control of. It's not like hawking small arms to militias. Indeed. He plans to avoid detection. By exporting minerals containing tiny amounts of uranium in the form of metallic archaea. Once on site, the metallic archaea enrich the uranium. Loaded onto all terrain bipedal machines. They ensure any country, armed group, even the smallest terrorist cell, can become a nuclear power. Bipedal. So that's why they needed Huey. A new business to replace the arms business. And Skullface owns the market. The very atmosphere of nukes, anywhere and everywhere. Deterrence on all sides. So that's why he ran a non-detonation test. Yes. Another metallic archaea instantly overrides the criticality generator. It fails safe only he controls. Any such weapon can be deactivated whenever he chooses, regardless of who owns it or their intent to use it. Nukes. Controlled by a man, not a country. If they proliferate, conventional nukes lose all value. Political, military, and economic. The two superpowers become powerless. R&D and medical teams have come up with a proposal for a new suit that applies Code Talker's research, the Parasite Suit. Apparently, it can recreate some of the Skull's unusual abilities. But in order to use those abilities, it needs Parasites. If you want to wear this suit, you're going to need to get a hold of Parasites by extracting Skulls. Lonely Wasp. Oh. I thank you, Adat, you shit. Titanium Dingo. Bloody Buzzard. Punching Lion, my goodness. Panzer Crab sounds amazing.
to stop the epidemic at Mother Base. About the pathogen spreading through Mother Base, what's your opinion? Textbook symptoms of vocal cord parasite infestation. And judging from this casualty list, it is the Kikongo strain. Meaning, a breed of parasite that triggers symptoms upon detecting pronunciation specific to Kikongo. So how do we keep them from becoming symptomatic? Use this. A type of Volbachia. Introduced to a sample of the parasite. The parasitic bacteria that colonizes the parasites. Turning male to female. And preventing copulation. We must cultivate more. Thanks to Code Talker, we've managed to put a stop to any new vocal cord parasite infections. We couldn't save those already symptomatic, but everyone who survived has been released from the quarantine platform. Skullface will pay for this. Again, with the truth serum? What are those legs made of? Titanium? All the way to the femur. <laughs> Metallic Archaea. Sohilanthropy. Where is it? What? We have to know before his plan is complete. Sir Helanthropus is the final piece. W w what are you talking about? If the Soviets break out a mobile, controllable nuclear weapon... East-West relations will be right back at the Cuban Missile Crisis. The Cold War returns to life as countries without nuclear arsenals line up for what Skullface is selling. Nuclear weapons proliferate overnight, and on the brink of annihilation, the world maintains its balance. But we know this is all just a shield, a ruse. The cleansing parasites are what matter most. A WMD to eclipse even nukes, and the only one that can still be used. Skullface is the world's greatest threat, and Zero's. The pieces are in place. All that remains is to unveil Sohilanthropus in Afghanistan. They can't activate it without me.
Okay, B Zero. The Philanthropist is beyond the Soviet base camp, in a lab built by the Soviet philosophers. That's what you're looking for. But I have no idea how he's controlling it. It wasn't designed to accommodate a human pilot. Word from Afghanistan. Everyone at the Soviet base camp's dead. No sign of fighting. Parasites. Skullface's men then headed north. The target is OKB Zero. That's where he'll activate Sahalanthropus. Unless we stop him, he'll go down in history a conquering victor. We can't let that happen. Wipe him out. Don't leave any trace of his existence. I'm gonna need backup on this one. You'll rendezvous on site. So, uh, during that thing, probably like an hour ago, uh, River donated 50 bucks, and the message is, you can only use this money to buy me Pokemon merch. I see. Hmm. All right. I can do that. And then AI Colonel donated $61 with the message, I need bracelets, 61. The fool. Fair enough, paper cup. Have a good night. And happy birthday. business. Now let's see what I can do. Uh, no, not that. Tempting, but no. Um, I don't even have any of those, I don't think. 
Should probably invest in one. I will. It has a scope. What does MGL need a scope? I mean, all right. Oh, this is fine. Still not remembering a damn thing. I need to get these in order to... Wait a minute. Don't I need to get these in order to unlock uh, her actual clothing? Shouldn't be quiet. Oh, I misread that. Hmm. Okay, never mind then. Let's take a look at side ops. Still no more mother base ones. Let's take a look at... Actually, I'm gonna go back to mother base. So far, um, boss, thank you for putting an end to the epidemic. I hate boss. the fact going, boss? that this person is also voiced by Skullface. It's blatantly Whatever obvious. Supplies you need, just let us know, boss. But uh, I'm enjoying the plot when it's presented. Well, hmm. 
I take that back. I'm half enjoying it because it seems like up until this point, every um, every cutscene is 